Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. In today's card, I'm creating some transparent balloons using this large balloon right here and a couple of sentiments from the Celebrate Today set by Stampin' Up. I'm gonna start with a piece of Canson XL mixed media watercolor paper. It's about three and three quarter inches wide. I'm gonna stamp the balloon with some squeezed lemonade ink and then I'm gonna take my wild honey, put a little bit on my craft mat and take my aqua painter to start highlighting. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit because you can always add more. Um, and I'm gonna highlight the sides, like the edges of the balloon and move my way towards the middle. And I especially wanna create a little bit more of a dark shadow on underneath, kind of on the bottom part of the balloon. And I'm gonna be careful not to go over the line, um, but it's okay if you do, it doesn't have to be perfect. And also I wanna make sure that I put water all over the whole entire balloon because the paper is a little bit textured and so you get you know kind of that rough kind of look with the distress ink when you stamp it down. So that will smooth out the balloon and make it look really nice. I'm also gonna go up the right edge but not quite as much as I did on the left side. And this is really gonna provide some nice shading for the balloon. Um, and I found that these two colors go really nicely together. Now that I've added some dark color for shadow, I'm gonna remove some color for reflection. So I'm gonna clean off my aqua painter. I'm just gonna lay down some water and remove some of that distress ink. And this is pretty easy to do. You just have to blot it with a tissue. You could do it a couple of times if you want to. Just make sure you use a clean area of your tissue. And now I have a nice pretty light reflection on the balloon. My next balloon is gonna be Broken China. So I'm gonna stamp that in the upper right-hand corner. All my balloons are hanging off the cardstock because I feel like it gives the image like there's something more than just the card. Uh, I'm going to take my chipped sapphire and put some of that on my craft mat and start with my shading. Now you can see how dotted this image is from the broken china and that's why I'm going over the whole thing with water because that'll blend that out to make it look nice and smooth. Now you could see when I dropped in that color there was a lot of color but don't be worried. Uh, don't be too scared to put too much color in because you can always add a little bit more water to fade it out a little bit and it always does dry a little bit lighter anyway. So I'm gonna finish coloring this whole balloon. I'm gonna pretend like I can see the whole balloon. So I'm gonna shade it like I would if the whole balloon was there um, and move my color from the left to the right. And then I don't have to worry too much about much color or, or much of the sapphire that's gonna go on the right hand side. Again, this is one of those water coloring situations where you could just keep going and going and going. But at some point you just have to say, okay, this is good enough, stop. And you can always go back later to add more. I'm gonna do the bottom part of this balloon. I actually forgot to do the yellow. I'm gonna go back and do that in a bit. But let's add the white spot now for the, uh, for the blue balloon. So I'm gonna put some plain water on there. I clean my brush and then dab it with a tissue. And see how there was kind of a white water line? I didn't like that, so I went back in, add a little bit more, and then dabbed it with a tissue a couple of times in different areas, and I got a nice reflection. And now I'm gonna go back in with that wild honey and color the bottom of that yellow balloon. And now I'm gonna move on to my green one. And I fully dried my yellow one before I started on the green because if you do this while the yellow is wet, then there's a higher chance that your colors are gonna become a little bit too blended. So I'm stamping this in cracked pistachio and I'm using some pine needles for my highlighting. It's the same process here, but I'm gonna be careful to do the overlap separate from the plain green balloon. So you can see I'm just doing the balloon right now. Now once I hit that overlap and I start blending, I'm going, well I don't have enough water on my brush here, I'm kind of squeezing to make sure I have enough. But once I hit that overlap area, I'm gonna grab a tissue when I'm finished and wipe it off because you can see it's a little bit yellow and I don't want any of that yellow getting into my green balloon. So just make sure that you color these areas separately. I'm just gonna keep doing this balloon uh, the same way I've done the others. You see I dropped in a load of color right there, but it's okay, you can blend it out. Don't be too nervous about um, creating some shadow areas. And then I'm gonna create that same white reflection with just some plain water, and then lift it up with a tissue. Just make sure you use a clean area of your tissue. Now I think I got a little bit too much white here, so I went back in with a little more color, blended it over, and then I thought uh, a little too dark there, so I lightened it up. And then finally, I darkened that knot area at the bottom. I wanted to use a curvy string instead of a straight string, so I pulled the string from the Balloon Builder set, and I'm using some Hero Hues, uh, just Hero Arts black ink, 
and I'm going to do the yellow balloon and the green balloon. Now when it comes to the blue one, I want it to be faded behind the green balloon. So I'm going to cut a post-it here. You could cut a mask for the balloon, but I was being a little bit too lazy, so I just covered up the balloon with post-its. And then I'm stamping over it so I get a dark area at the top and at the bottom. So when I remove this, you'll see that there's no string um, on the green balloon. Now what I'm going to do is cover the outside edge now and work on the string that's in, uh, in the green balloon. So I'm going to stamp off three times and then on the fourth time it'll give me a much more faded image. And I'm just going to, I can see through the post-it, sorry about my head here, uh, to make sure that I line up with the top and the bottom. And honestly I thought it was a little too faded so I decided I was going to do this one more time. And I probably should have had the misty, but now I'm just going to stamp it off twice instead of three times. I think the misty would have been much easier here. Um, and so I stamped it again. And I actually <laughs> think I like the first one better, but oh well. So we're just going to go with this one. But it is a little bit faded in the background. So you can see up close here. Next I'm going to add my sentiments. I'm going to put the happy so that the string is going between the two letters. I'm going to ink that up with some Hero Arts ink, which gives me a nice dark impression. And then I'm going to take the birthday part and I'm going to uh, put it off to the right a little bit for something different. And that's my sentiment. So I'm going to grab my washi tape now. This is the same set I used uh, on the challenge launch. And I'm going to put some black and white stripe on two edges, on both edges of the card. And uh, I hung them off and you could wrap them around, but it's kind of an unfinished edge. So I just go ahead, I went ahead and took a scissor and just cut it off so I have a nice clean edge. And then I'll take an ATG tape runner and put some tape on the back of my panel and put it right there on top of my card base. And that is the card for today. So I think I like the way it turned out. The transparent balloons are kind of cool. And you can get, a, get that look with distress inks pretty easily. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.